Okay, so I've got my fixtures here. Um, I'm going to open another view of the the 3D plumbing, and uh, what I'll do is then go to the view tab and hit on the tile, so it'll show me the views side by side. So in fact, I can have my plumbing visible here in one view, invisible here in the other. Um, now what I want to do is I want to select, I can either do this by holding the control key down, because I'm going to actually um, uh, assign these, so if I pick the objects like that, or I could have done it like this, this is a, a window that only selects from top left to bottom right only what is completely inside. Um, so you see if I could I could take out these by just moving my cursor a little bit. And I've gotten selected, um, I can then go and say that what I want to do is to uh, go to the Analyze tab on top here. I'm going to go to the uh, System Browser, uh, which is already up. It's at the bottom of my screen here. And then, so what I'm going to do is go to the uh, Uh, modify plumbing fixtures and go to the create systems panel and click on the sanitary option if I were to go back to here where it says edit so what it did is it created the system um, but I've got the ch and, it, and it assigned it a kind of a arbitrary name if I say edit the system here then what I can do is I can say um, add to system and up here I'll give it a name so what I'm going to do is name them according to the room number sanitary 107 and then I'll say okay I'm finished with the editing. So these now, if you look down here under the, uh, it's under unassigned, but under here, Sanitary 107 is the floor drain and the things that I had selected.